Hey everyone and welcome back to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. On this video, we're doing the quest, Crooked Seat Clan Contribution. That can be found at the Crooked Seat Navi Camp, which is where we are, here in the Clouded Forest. So, our community basket is right here. They are looking for a stag fly ant nectar of superior or better quality, and we actually got one of those on the last video, so we know exactly where to go. We are heading back to Analysis Center Bravo. Oh, and I could use some energy. Let's go with herb-infused rooms. All right, so we're heading to the northeast, back to where the stagfly ant hives are. Hurt my knees a little bit there. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, it's that over there. We got some predators. Ah, oh, right next to it too. All right, well that's fine. We'll we'll let them have that one. I'm sure we can find another. They can have it. Oh, I walked right into that eye thorn. What am I doing? Oh, there's one. Exquisite quality. Oh, something's chasing that rhino. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Alright, we got it. Let's head back. And just like that, our quest is complete. I always go foraging early, just after the rain. So with that done, let's go explore. We're gonna leave the camp to the west, and uh, shouldn't take too long. True, many parts of the forest have blossomed, as now their center is thriving. Shouldn't be too long before a Navi senses kick in. There is a bell sprig that's nearby. And I am stuck on that plant. Okay, so there's our Navi senses taking us down below. For a cave, it's right here. There's our bell spray. But what's in this cave other than blinding light? There's some waterfalls in here, that's kind of cool. Outside of the bell spray, though, not a whole lot going on. Yeah, not much. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, so now we'll take Talisi's help. Oh, 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 oh. And there's a giant mountain nearby. We're gonna fly towards it. We're actually gonna go underneath of it. So, that big old mountain right there. We're looking for a river that travels underneath. And I may as well get this. Bet that's tasty. So it should be like right over here or so. It's kind of hard to spot. The forest is so thick. It can be tough to navigate, but I think it's down here. 
Be down here, so foggy. Uh, no, we are in the wrong spot. Maybe it's over here. I told you it's hard to find. Yeah, I think it's over here more. Yeah, here we go. More like a stream than a river, but in here. Okay, so Navi senses are picking up. A bell sprig. Right, health increased again, and I believe there's some baskets around here. Or maybe not. I could have sworn there were some baskets. There's a basket. Fine shroom. Superior quality. Alright, so let's get out Wahoo! to the... Uh, Open air again. We'll go this way. And now we're gonna head towards the ridge, roughly up there. To the south, almost directly south. I'm pretty sure it's up there, but... Actually, hold on. Can I see it? I think I see it right there. That might be a, a bell sprig. Hard to tell at this distance, but it looks like it could be. Yep, it is. Landed a little bit lower than I intended, but it's fine. There we go. Well, we would get a view of the King War Forest if it wasn't so cloudy. We can see the islands, though. All right, so uh, you can see where we went. We started there. We got that bell sprig. We got that bell sprig, and then we came up and got this bell sprig. Let's go ahead now and actually go to the hollows. Uniluk has some hey intricate there. items I lately. Hadn't thought. You should go see. But sometimes it is difficult to get any sense from him. He is the best woodshaper we have. And I wish I could hear the voices of the trees like Uniluk does. His head is in the treetops for certain. But his pieces are exquisite. Alright, so if we go to the cooking station, which I forget where it is. I think it's down here. Excuse yep. me, please. Over here. And we'll talk to her later. Uh, so, in the cooking area, you can see that Your Okul friend is with Eowod now. Such sad news. Okul is now a Let merchant. Let us see what I have here. He's their cook. So, he's offering us some stagfly ant nectar. May as well receive that. He's got creamy plant milk. It gives fighters boon too. He's got sweet plant milk, gives fighters boon three. And earthy herbs with trackers boon three. Deal plus 45% damage against wildlife. We'll take that as well. And he's selling some basic foods here. Although this one's not basic. A cool signature stew. Gives 100% energy with forest rapport. A kamitiri stew that a cool came up with to suit his own tastes. But many others have found it to their liking as well. I All right, will be so. here if you need me. Oh, we got a food basket as well. Spiced seafood, exquisite quality. Uh, well, we're probably pretty full on full food. Yeah. Well, let me just eat one of them. We'll if eat only the. Only everything uh, could be solved in an alchemist workshop. I guess we'll eat this spiced seafood that we just got. All right. So we have some new things to experiment with. And we have more fatty meat, too, so that's great. We got lots of things to work with. Um, let's try the earthy herbs. 
with uh, a fruit. Pot fruit. Oh, oh, that's slimy. What if I swap them? Oh, that's just spiced fruit salad. These all do the same thing. All right, well, in that case, why don't we try chameleon crawler fatty meat. Have we tried it with fish yet? What if we reverse that? We have done that, okay. All right, so fatty meat with uh, herb. I don't know if we've done that. We have. Let's swap it again, see if that helps at all. We have, okay. Here I thought we hadn't experienced, experimented with fatty meat too much, but apparently we, we did a decent amount. What about with um, some sweet plant milk? That's a greasy roast. Once again, swap it, see if that changes anything. That's steak and cheese. All right. Well, about mushroom. Done that. Apparently, I didn't need as much fatty meat as I thought, but that's unknown, so let's try this. And that made roast stuffed mushroom with ambush two for 25 minutes. A great mushroom filled with fatty meat. The edges seem crunchy and well seasoned. All right. Well, did we try it with lean meat? Fatty meat and lean meat? I don't know if we did. Let's try. That's meat roast. And then the other way around. Mixed meat skewer. Yep, okay. Well, what about with some nectar? Sweet meat roast. And that's unknown. Oh, we ruined another meal. Glazed mass. That sounds wonderful. Upset stomach for 20 seconds. Too much nectar, too much heat for far too long. The result is an unidentifiable, disturbingly stretchy mass. All right, well, we're gonna eat that mass. And we can still make two more things. So maybe we go nectar again as the main ingredient this time. And have we done it with fish? We have not. What's this do? I got a glazed fish with fire walk two for 31 minutes. Seared fish coated in a thick sweet nectar sauce. The sweetness brings a whole new dimension to the flavor of the fish. All right, one more thing that we can make. Maybe we try a mushroom with herbs. I think I've done that before. We have, what about the other way? We have, okay. Maybe, oh, there we go. Earthy herbs and buoy fish. What does that make? Fish spice bowl with tracker's boon three for 31 minutes. A herbal fish fillet that will have mouths watering all around the cooking fire. All right, and that filled our food pouch. We do still have a mushroom. We do still have fatty meat. And we have a whole bunch of lean meat. Oh, one thing I didn't try. I don't know if I had ever done two fatty meats together. Have I done? Ah, oh, whatever. Our pouch is full. Oh, and we got a hunter's guide entry for earthy herbs. Herbs with a rich and distinct flavor. Crafted by a Kamitiri artisan. Using earthy herbs as the main ingredient in combination with Echo Stalker lean meat is rumored to have a special effect. Ah, we'll have to keep that in mind. Additional info, these herbs with a rich and distinct flavor bringing... 
a mushroom-like umami to any dish they are added to. And they give Tracker's Boon three. Oh, and our journal, of course, has the new recipes. They probably won't save, but let's try anyway. There we go. Alrighty, so we have another cook that can sell us some unique ingredients. That'll be helpful for more experimentation. Although we're kind of running out of, to stuff, of stuff to try. There's definitely some specialties we haven't made, but in terms of just combining regular ingredients, I don't know if there's a whole lot we haven't messed with, but there might be more than we think. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.